Neural networks and deep learning are powerful techniques within the field of machine learning, particularly suited for tasks involving complex patterns, representation learning, and large amounts of data. Here's a brief overview. Artificial Neural Networks ANN Type, Supervised Learning, Unsupervised Learning, Reinforcement Learning Use, mimics the structure and functioning of the human brain. Consists of interconnected nodes, neurons organized in layers, input, hidden, output. Convolutional Neural Networks CNN Type, Supervised Learning Use, specialized for image processing and recognition. Utilizes convolutional layers to automatically and adaptively learn spatial hierarchies of features. Recurrent neural networks are NN. Type, supervised learning, unsupervised learning. Use, designed for sequential data and time series analysis. Suitable for tasks where the order and context of input data matter. Long short-term memory LSTM. Type, supervised learning, unsupervised learning. Use, a type of RNN designed to address the vanishing gradient problem, allowing for the learning of long-term dependencies in sequential data. Generative Adversarial Networks GN. Type, Unsupervised Learning Generative Modeling. Use, consists of a generator and a discriminator trained simultaneously through adversarial training. Used for generating new data instances. Deep learning architectures, such as neural networks with multiple hidden layers, are particularly effective at automatically learning hierarchical representations of data. They excel in tasks such as image and speech recognition, natural language processing, and playing strategic games. Training deep neural networks often requires large data sets and computational resources. Transfer learning, where a pre-trained model on a large data set is fine-tuned for a specific task, is also common in deep learning applications. These techniques have significantly advanced the state of the art in various domains, but their success often depends on careful design, parameter tuning, and the availability of sufficient training data.